Hi YouTube family, I hope you guys are doing well. I am so excited because I am filming a Hermes little haul and I want to talk about my journey of rebuilding my entire profile now for the next few years. Finally in a place where I can fully commit to one store. I am in between LA and Vancouver and so staying in one place and building it was very difficult for me and then building two profiles at the same time, it's like I don't need two of the same things in two different countries the profiles don't cross across countries so whatever you spend in one country like Australia or Canada it doesn't correlate to what you will spend in Europe or LA or Miami or United States or whichever so every country has its own little way of doing things I'm not really sure how and why it doesn't cross but maybe that's a good thing I don't know this would be considered the first haul as I'm starting over there were a few things that I purchased in the past for home Julie jewelry, goods, wallets, gifts, belts, things like that. But I decided to just not count that since Hermes only takes your profiles from the last two years of what you spent. And over the last few years, I never really committed to one exact place or one exact store where I'm going to just be with one person and build for the next few months or a few years, especially when I have to visit every week or every other week. So today is going to be my first video and my first haul with everything. And I have the receipt here, which we'll go over and what I spent last week. I do have a big box here. When I walked out of this store, everyone thought I got a bag, but I'm like, oh girl, I wish. <laughs> it's not a bag. I wish it was a bag. So let's open it together. I really want to build like a little Christmas tree of Hermes orange boxes trees. I've seen so many people do that. I think it would look so cute now that I've been living in my new home and I just want to decorate everything with Hermes stuff and also help build a profile of course. <laughs> so this is the bay orange box. Hopefully one day soon I'll be able to walk out with a very very big much bigger orange box from the store in SA and I love my sales associate right now. Um, him and I vibe so well so really crossing fingers that this one will be the one that I will end up staying with and hanging out with and building a relationship with because there's been a lot of people that I've built relationships with and they end up leaving or quitting or I end up moving away or something happens and it just was never like a really consistent time frame. I'm just excited now for this to be the time for me to do this journey. I am sitting on my new couch right now and this is from Rogue Concepts that I had purchased and I thought what would be better than a blanket to go with it? And I could not decide the colors of the blankets. I really liked the red one, but I also felt like I had a lot of red stuff around here with the roses and the accents of the place is kind of neutral. So I needed an accent color, so ended up doing the black one, and I love it so much. Look how beautiful. They had so many different colors and prints, and I saw this originally first in Paris, but I didn't have any room in my luggage, and I was like, okay, even if I buy something in Paris right now, like it's not gonna go to my profile, so let's not lug a whole big blanket back. So I waited for myself to come back here and get it from here and actually start this consistent journey. So this is what it looks like and I thought it would just look so cute just hanging out on the couch. This is a huge sectional modular couch. It's not the comfiest by the way. I don't know why couches that cost an arm and a leg are not super comfortable. Um, I was thinking about actually changing the cushions out so that I can actually fit and sleep on this couch because it's humongous but it's not comfortable so the first thing first though we're gonna decorate it with our best blanket so this is what it looks like and it is huge they had this one and then the baby blanket was so cute as well i can't wait to get that one day i really really wanted it um but i believe it's like just the h all around and then the gray and the stitching is just so gorgeous i always see this type of blanket at my girlfriend's house and it's just so pretty sitting on the couch and sometimes people use it sometimes people don't but it's literally huge it can cover two people and so good when you're like watching a movie eating popcorn or just like hanging out you know and it just looks so pretty as a throw just like hanging out there i'm not the best interior designer i have so many girlfriends who are like architects and interior designers that's not my forte okay so the next thing that i got in this big bag and the last thing was a towel 
I ended up getting a shower towel. They had a few beach towels and shower towels and they had different colors, but I thought that the orange one was the cutest. They had navy orange and kind of like a tan color like this couch, but I thought, hmm, the tan one looks pretty basic, like just a basic white towel. So I thought, let's just do the orange, you know, a pop of color, just like the box, just like the bag. And just makes, makes sense to me. So this is what it looks like. And it's also humongous. And it has the H print all around it. I'm gonna have to wash this like on its own. I'm so scared to wash it with my basic white towels because it's gonna drip in orange. But I'm so excited to use it. It's so pretty and it's gonna hang so nice in my new washroom. And I'm just so excited to see what it looks like. Okay, so let me just put this away. How much I ended up spending on this first visit. I knew how much the blanket was gonna be, but I came in not thinking I was gonna get the towel, but I saw the towel and I was like, oh, it's so cute. And I do kind of like want another towel. Anyways, little receipt, it comes in. And I'm doing this so that we can restart this entire journey together so you guys can be a part as I go and get my custom bags and my quota bags so we can kind of keep track together. Um, the bath towel, this is in US dollars by the way, and I will also do a conversion to Canadian dollars because I like to see both in both conversions. The US dollar price was $340 and then the blanket was $1,800. And in total, I spent $2,140 plus tax, $165. So in the total, I spent $2,305.85. So that's US dollars. I believe if you do the conversion now to USD, since the rate or conversion rate is quite high right now, it's probably around 3,200, but I could be wrong. I will definitely put the right amount on the screen so you guys can see. So first visit was $2,300. USD, um, I'm not sure exactly how much I am going to be spending over the next few weeks to be able to hit for a quota bag. I'm assuming it's about another six, seven, eight thousand dollars. I don't really know. Um, but again, I am vibing with my essay right now and we're gonna start over this entire journey together and see how much I am gonna be spending in the next few weeks just alone to hit for a quota bag in the next few months. I'm super excited to go on this journey right now because I don't mind to redo everything and buy the things that I truly want around the house since I did recently move into the new project that we built and I'm excited to just drip everything in orange and Hermes stuff and get some little plates, maybe some more jewelry pieces and whatever that will add I guess to my profile. So. I would love to do some more vlogs. So if you guys would like to watch some vlogs and maybe actually me being in store and looking around and shopping and doing things. I used to do a lot of vlogs, but I ended up deleting them all and I just didn't do it anymore. So maybe we'll do a little bit more vlogs again as I feel better. <laughs> because I've been really, really sick. That is all for now. Thank you so much for being here on my first Hermes YouTube haul and my first time rebuilding this Hermes journey with you guys. And I'm so excited to just move forward and see what's to come in the future for the next year in 2024. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys check out my Instagram or my TikTok. I post them there every single day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.